All right, welcome back to part two. We will prefer even a conspiracy theory or junk theory to no theory at all. So last video we saw the biological reasons why we like a conspiracy theory. So the cognitive biases and other things. So now we will continue. So if you look at the pattern on your screen, do you see a shape? So just answer in your head. Do you see a shape when you look at the pattern on your screen? So maybe some of you said, yes, I see a shape. I see a circle. All right. But do you really see a circle? Is that really a circle? Maybe you say, yes, it is. But if you said, yes, you see a circle, that is because you added pieces to the pattern. So this is much like how a conspiracy theory works. We can look at our pattern and think about how conspiracy theories are made. So each little blue line we could imagine is a fact. Okay, so we start with facts. Okay. All right, so next we, when we are making a conspiracy theory, we fill the spaces between the facts with often unsupported, sometimes false, sometimes our dreams, sometimes magical information. Okay, so you can see the red lines would be all of these other things we add to the facts and that is how we construct a conspiracy theory and when you add those facts that we added and the misconceptions and the pseudoscience and the magic when you add that to groupthink which is kind of like the idea of bubbles, ideas that stay in the bubble and they circulate and they bounce around. That is the best way to make a conspiracy theory. If we look at a real life example, we could take, I don't know, maybe COVID-19 okay so this is a we, we have you know four different facts or pieces of information on the screen okay so we have COVID-19 we have China we have disease we have international competition all right so these are just four things that exist okay but some people are looking for links. How do we link these things? So they say, oh, COVID-19 came from China and it's always thinking about international competition and they want to use a disease to be the masters of international competition. So that is how we have the new COVID-19 conspiracy theories that are born from actual facts. People inject their beliefs and their misconceptions and they create a conspiracy theory. There are many reasons why people create, believe, look for conspiracy theories. So we are not going to explore all of those reasons, okay? 
Um, we have looked at how they are made. We've looked at the biology of why people can believe them easily. Okay. Uh, but next, let's look at how a good student of science can deconstruct what the conspiracy theorists have cooked. So if you want to see just how the conspiracy theories can take everything, they can, they can, everything can be explained by a conspiracy. Okay, so you see that here is an example of someone trying to link every conspiracy theory. Okay, so just imagine every bad thing that happened was part of a giant conspiracy okay all right and here you have the proof okay so that's the sarcastic ironic voice all right how do we deconstruct conspiracy theories that's what we're going to look at so we want to take them apart So first, the very first step is doing good research, okay? So I'm sure a lot of you say, oh, I am an excellent researcher. I know how to find stuff, all right? So I hope that that is true, but very often people do not correctly know how to research for example if you research uh, does the microwave cause cancer you know maybe you'll find 20 websites that say yes microwaves cause cancer okay so you need to be more clear in your research all right so you need to look for evidence Okay, uh, you need to be aware that there may be pseudoscience linked. Okay, someone might explain that microwaves cause cancer by changing the structure of the water in your food, you know, which, you know, is not true. Okay, so let's look at evidence. So w as we deal with conspiracy theories, Conspiracy theories do not like evidence that can prove that they are not true. Surprise, surprise. All right. So if you know someone that believes a conspiracy and you say, but look at this evidence that says your conspiracy is wrong, they will say maybe, well, your evidence is part of the conspiracy. Ho ho. So for pseudoscience, often a lot of pseudoscience, so you can see the, the, the pyramid of pseudoscience. So at the bottom you have, I want it to be true, okay? And then you have other non-reliable sources of information, okay? So on the science side, you know, you have more structured, ways of finding information and receiving information and doing studies, a scientific method, of course. And as we saw previously, cognitive biases. So when we are trying to deconstruct the conspiracy theories, we need to search to see if the believers are expressing any cognitive biases or is the conspiracy theory based on a cognitive bias. So maybe some of you in the previous class saw this list of cognitive biases. 
all right I will post uh, this list so you can look at it uh, it has a lot of different cognitive biases but a lot of these biases can help people uh, break away from their conspiracy theory okay So here is a lovely chart just to, you know, I showed you the previous chart that had a lot of conspiracy theories. They were all linked. Okay, so this chart just has some different conspiracy theories, uh, and they're ranked in order from lowest, least crazy on the bottom, okay, to like massively crazy, maybe you need to really, really come back to reality. Welcome back to Earth. Okay. So I personally did not create this list. Okay. So I don't necessarily agree with everything on this list. Okay. Um, for example, um, you, you can see on the right side, there's a part that says we have questions. Okay. So for example, you know, Area 51, UFOs, Roswell. All right, I would put that more, I would put that a level higher, you know. We don't really have much evidence that we should have questions about that, okay. At the bottom, you can see uh, some conspiracies that were actual real conspiracies because we are good at discovering conspiracies, okay. That's why when there are real conspiracies, we generally find out in a matter of time. Okay, you can go to the top and you see as you get to the top, you are leaving reality, then you are denying science, and then you have the really, really bad conspiracies, the ones that, you know, are bad for humanity, they're bad for society, okay, and those are the ones that hopefully none of you believe in all right so just remember you have to use your brain so we were all born with the capacity to escape conspiracy theories so just use the brain all right so let's say let's say someone in your family or a friend is a believer so how are we going to help them all right, so do not scream at them. That is not very helpful. So first, we have something we call pre-bunk. So if you can think of pre-bunk as a vaccination. So before you could even start to believe a conspiracy theory, you could search for information. For example, with the vaccinations, uh, we knew that people who already did not like vaccines would say that there was a problem with the new COVID vaccines, of course. So if you already have that information available, you can stop a conspiracy theory before it grows. So debunk. This is when you're going to question sources. So your friend sends you some information from IHateVaccines.com, maybe it's not the most fair uh, source of information, okay? It's always good to question, you know, uh, if, if a company maybe has a bad vaccine or something, questions should be asked. But you should always consider where the answers are coming from and reducing the spread okay so i'm sure none of you have done this but i know that people sometimes will share articles after only reading the title okay so this is not maybe the greatest thing to do all right so always read before you share maybe check the sources you know uh, and this can help stop the spread. 
So with this little presentation, obviously I've just covered the the tippy top of the iceberg, like just the you know the little top. So there is so much more information uh, that you know this is English class, so it's not really relevant. But if you would like to continue learning more about conspiracy theories and how to stop people believing them and how to discredit them there is a lot of information that you can find online um, and so let's look at some of the consequences of conspiracy theories okay so first always remember that people who believe in conspiracy theories are not stupid okay it is it is not a matter of intelligence or not okay conspiracy theories existed before the internet and if the internet ever goes away they will continue to exist the internet does help spread conspiracy theories but it is not responsible for their existence all right and you can see some conspiracy theories are harmless like uh i don't know people think justin bieber is like a cat or something whatever but when you start to get to the top of that pyramid we saw uh you see that they are beginning to become harmful when for example just a random example uh, hundreds of people invade the capital of a country because they believe something that's not true because they believe in a conspiracy theory uh, that could be a problem hopefully that will never happen in real life and remember maybe today you don't believe in a conspiracy theory but you should always always be ready to question your own beliefs and make sure that you do not just accept any information someone gives you okay so a new study shows we can get you to believe anything as long as we say a new study okay so don't fall into the science trap all right so I have posted a vocabulary list on Moodle, hopefully, in real life. I have not done it, but when you watch this video, hopefully it will have been done. All right, just some words that you can use in your presentations. Here are some sources. Uh, this slide should have been like four slides ago, uh, but I forgot the order of my slides. Oh well, that happens, too bad all right so i think that is no it is not the last slide so here's just a little quick guide to pseudoscience versus science so you can take a look at that and do not tell anybody but look i have provided the same list in french all right that's our little secret okay so this should be the last slide so i'm gonna stop talking because the video is longer than i wanted it to be sorry have a nice day and i will talk to you later